like, what's the key against Kansas's defense? Or, excuse me, offense. What are they like? You, you know, what they do is um, they give you a lot of different sets, and, and they run kind of the same plays but a different set. So you got to be able to adjust to that. Uh, they give you some motion, uh, some things that you have to adjust to put on the fly. How different is that quarterback, that number three on the depth chart? I mean, what, what's he like compared to the other two? You know, he obviously he's earned a, the starting position. He runs their offense fairly well. You know, he did some good things last week in bringing them back in that victory over uh, Colorado. I think he was in yep. most of the game. And so uh, what he's shown is that he, he has some good leadership skills for a guy to come in a situation like that and lead them back to victory. Personnel-wise, what is their strength on offense? Well, I think they got a couple. they got a couple of really good receivers. Uh, they can go after the ball, and their running back has really good speed. And if he can get outside, he, he can take one to the house. So uh, we got to be ready for both. How's their overall speed on offense? Well, I think it's I think it's pretty good. I think again, it's led by that running back. But the receivers that played against us last year are back, and uh, they can run pretty good. That freshman running back can run. He's quick. Long. He can run. Yeah, absolutely. Despite their record, would it be fair to say the cover's not bare down there with especially, you know, they had a great season a couple years ago. Yeah, you know, but they, initially they had lost a lot of good players. Uh, but I think what Coach Kill's come in and done is they're, they're a tough physical football team uh, and, and they're playing at a good level right now. You expect Coach Gill to have some tricks up his sleeve for you guys? <laughs> well, you, you know what? I'm pretty sure he has some. But Coach Gill is kind of a guy that's just going to line up and play uh, what he knows. And so uh, they're a well-coached team and well-disciplined team. You talked to Turner at all over the last this year? At all? No, no, I have not. I haven't had a chance to talk to him. He, you know, he, he is one of my former Huskers, but also he's a he's an enemy right yeah. now. <laughs> no, but you know what? He's done a great job everywhere he's been. He had a great job in Buffalo. He's doing a good job at Kansas. Is there anything different about preparing for a team with, you know, a guy like Turner Gill who's had so much, you know, reputation here at Nebraska? Has anything changed for you guys? Is it different at all? No, you know, because we talk about every week we focus on ourselves and our process. And um, this is another game at home. Uh, we're going to have our crowd for us, but we as we stay focused on our process. It has nothing to do with the opponent, and that's not anything negative on them. It's just that we want to make sure we can play our best brand of football and then let the results take care of themselves. How's Alfonso been doing this week? He's had a good week of practice. Uh, you know, he gave up one a day I didn't like, but he, he's had a good week of practice. I, I give him a hard time saying he's on fresh legs, unlike everybody else, but it's good to have him back. He gave up one today, huh? Yes, he did. A kid, is, I mean, I know how much he hates coming off the field for even a second, so I'm sure he's been chomping at the bit to get back, huh? Yeah, he has. You know, it's uh, he wanted to play last week, but he just wasn't ready. But now he's got an opportunity, and I think he's excited to get back out there. So you think he'll back and be in the starting lineup then? Yeah, he's back. Yes, would, absolutely. Would, you, would he have played if you would have told him he could? I mean, based oh, on yeah. his mentality? He would have played, absolutely. You know what, I think that's the mentality of our players, though. Unless uh, the team doctor doesn't keep him out, they're going to do everything they can to get on the football field. And he's one of them.